Now, children here in Massachusetts can opt out of vaccinations if their parents cite a religious reason. One state lawmaker says that shouldn't apply to the measles. Boston 25 News reporter John Monahan, live for us in Newton tonight. And John, today the number of cases connected to the measles outbreak rose to 981. Well, Vanessa and Blair, measles is so contagious that those are the highest numbers in a quarter century. Maine is the latest state to throw out that religious exemption, and one local lawmaker says Massachusetts should be next. A week after a second case of measles is diagnosed in Massachusetts, a Haverhill state rep files a bill to do away with the religious exemption for vaccinations. Everybody has the right to practice their religious beliefs, but nobody has the right to infect another person's child. Representative Andy Vargas says the risk is too high and the science is clear. Dr. Ari Cohen, the chief of pediatric emergency medicine at Mass General for Children, agrees. The fact that you don't vaccinate your child puts somebody else at risk. Dr. Cohen adds that the anti-vaxxer concerns about vaccines being unsafe is unfounded. It is very effective vaccine. It is very safe. It's been used for many uh, decades. Representative Vargas filed his bill on Friday. It would remove the religious exemption for vaccinating school children. We're joining uh, a movement across the country. There are several states already that have uh, removed religious and philosophical exemptions. Maine is just the latest, but it joins states like California, West Virginia, and Mississippi. Representative Vargas hopes Massachusetts is next, adding that the number of measles cases has reached a 25-year high. So far, they're at 981 and show no signs of stopping. Dr. Cohen says that is astonishing. We're talking about 1,000 cases this year for a disease that we said was eradicated. That eradication was so successful that the resurgence is frustrating doctors. Coming up at 11, why that success may be the reason measles is once again on the rise. Live in Newton, I'm John Monahan.